Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome to this INE course on IPv6 Internet Access and Multi-VRFCE with MPLS, which is part of the Network Engineer's Guide to MPLS INE Learning Path. My name is Travis Bonfili, and I'm really excited about this INE course and looking forward to working with you to help you master MPLS and achieve your career and certification goals. So what are you going to learn during this course? Well, in this course, we're going to be taking a deep dive look at MPLS and IPv6 through 6PE and 6VPE. We're going to compare and contrast both of those technologies. Then we're going to dive in and take a look at internet access with MPLS and then close out with multi VRFCE. And we'll be discussing the semantics around each of these technologies and where they fit into the world of MPLS. Also, remember that for every device in any module where configuration work is done, that device's configuration can be accessed either if you're a viral user using viral in the .virl file, or simply a plain text file that's provided as part of the course that will give you the starting and ending configuration for all devices in that module. So let's talk about some of the prerequisites related to the course. The first prerequisite is we need to have an understanding of IPv6. Remember, those are the first modules that we're going to be covering with 6PE and 6VPE. You also need to have an understanding of virtual routing and forwarding or VRFs. And then finally, you're going to need access to the iOS or the iOS XE CLI. Remember, one of the most important facets of learning is active learning and you actually doing the configuration work and typing it out, whether it's on physical equipment, the INE rack or some other type of simulator is critical to your success. Now, we also have a number of learning objectives relating to this course. The first being that you're going to be configuring 6PE and 6VPE. You're going to be configuring internet access and gaining an understanding of what internet access means in an MPLS context. And then you're going to be configuring multi VRFCE. And we're even going to be taking a look at some of the semantics around what happens when we're using OSPF. When it comes to achieving your certification and career goals and functioning in a real world enterprise or service provider network, it is critical to understand that there is no substitution for deliberate hands-on practice activities. Cisco certification exams are experience based and extremely challenging to pass. So, Taking this first course that is part of the INE learning path, the Network Engineer's Guide to MPLS, is going to be your critical first step. So let's dive in and prepare you for that success. I'm really looking forward to helping you achieve your goals by taking the Network Engineer's Guide to MPLS Learning Path at INE and specifically this module or course on IPv6 MPLS Internet Access and multi VRFCE. All right, now it's time for us to get in there and crush it. Here we go.